Where? I want you to talk about this yoga. 9 17 in the morning. My bad. Beautiful, muggy, nasty ass Texas. Fucking weather. Look at that. It's cloudy. It's like 84 out here. It's buried in the morning and it's fucking humid as shit. It's that sticky humid where you. You close your fingers and it's sticky. It's nasty. No one loves it. I hate this weather. Well, that being said, we're here uh, making another video. It's been I think, like a couple days since I uploaded a video with the new weapon. But that being said, let me introduce you to a new air gun. E look what I bought. Not something to be overhyped for, but yeah. I kind of opened it already. It's not in the box. I'll show you right now. It's a CR-357 semi-auto BB slash pellet. Let me, uh, there you go. Pellet uh, revolver. I like it. CO2 powered. It's favorite. Up to 465 feet per second. That's very fast. In fact, the other day, um, I just want to see how it would Fill in the hand and all that. I took it out, obviously. Put a BB in there. Shot it. Perfect. Put a pellet in there. It didn't shoot. Because the pellets are too big. I needed the um, cutter pellets. Yeah. That's what I need for them to fit in there. But anyways, I shot the pellet. Oh, no. I didn't shoot the pellet. I shot another BB. And oh, my God. That whole ricocheted so freaking bad. It hurt. Hit me right in the thumb. Uh, it's a little, you can't even see it on this camera. I don't know. It is bruised, it hurts, but I am fine. After doing that, I realized I need to wear uh, those glasses. There's going to be ricocheting like that with this specific weapon. So, I did. Anyway, let's get on to the video. It's great. Two clips. It's, um, that part does not come out. I would have to press a button and like, fold it open. Yes, yeah, this is the box. Yeah. Let me get a shot out of here. I don't even know where I put the pellets. Oh, I'm gonna go look for them. Shit. Um, well, here it is. Feels great to the hand. It's on safety, so you can just do that. Yeah. It comes with a top mount weaver well. I'm not sure what it was. I, I I'm tired. And then it comes in with an undermount accessory rail. I'm gonna call it accessory rail. Tells you on the side what it takes. Let me focus that. There it is. Tells you what it takes. Yeah. Safety's up here. See, look, when I pull the trigger, it's always gonna hit that. Nothing. But when I do that, it's ready. It's red fire. Huh? It has the air in there. I'll show you where the layer goes. Yeah. It's loud. It's actually kind of loud. Put that back on safety. Hold on. There it goes. See? Pretty ingenious design. But as of now, I need to go and look for the pellets. So give me one second. <sighs> Just come back from inside. <clears throat> Ooh, that's nasty. I bought Daisy steel pellets because I fucking hate those copper heads. I really do. In fact, as soon as I get that rifle, I'm planning to get. Ooh, and it's automatic. I'm gonna pour all the copper heads in there and fucking waste them all. I hate them. I, I really do. Same brand, Daisy brand. I don't know what's with the coppers that doesn't work with my contraptions. Anyways, this is the toolbox of wonders. Oh yeah, look, this is the pellet clip. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be using this today because my pellets don't fit in there. See, look, it requires, I think the flatheads, I'm gonna call them flatheads, or cutter. I think they're cutters, I don't know. Cutters that, requires that. This is too big, it doesn't rotate. Still too big, it doesn't rotate, which sucks. And I, not even the gamo. It's it's not gonna work with the gamo. Look at that. It's just out of here. Get out of here. Anyways, um, all right. So I'm gonna show y'all where the uh, CO2 goes. It goes in the uh, handle. All right. I'll show you this shit angle. I want to put on my barbie pit either because like it's fucking nasty out of here. Uh. Okay, I think it's better. I'm on the. I don't know if you can see right there. Oh wait, oh, I forgot something. Oh, I'll come back and tell you what I forgot. Right, well, anyways, that's what I forgot. I forgot the, uh, off. <laughs> the screwdriver. Sometimes you need it, I'm not sure. Uh, that's a different screwdriver, not that one. I don't know. But anyways, 
So I'll show you where the CO2 goes. It goes in this nice, welly hidden compartment. Get the tactical pink knife, and I don't want to flip it open, but you know that's what happens. There you go. That's where it goes. You have to take off. I guess yeah, you have to take off both of them. So once you put the CO2 in there, you can uh, screw that on. But it's already in there. I shot a couple times last night, and boy, I love it. I'm here to share the experience with you. It's so fucking nasty out here, dude. I can't get over it. That's the case. And uh, here, what I mean by it, it's flip. Check it out. That's interesting. There's two cars randomly came. Anyways, um, so it's on safety. I mean, always have the gun on safety when you're doing this kind of shit. You have to press this button down, right? Right, it's pressed. And there you go. Let me uh, get the camera. That looks, uh, we're gonna be using that clip today, though. So, Let's place the thing right there. Yeah. Alright, so, let's get on with the video. Oh, almost got myself. Always close your eyes after opening them. Terrible things can happen. I've seen terrible things happen before. I'm actually gonna save these. I know, I'm gonna buy a lot, but I'm gonna save them, just see what happens. So we're gonna be using the Daisy Steel Pellets. Where is that? There you go. I had to tape them closed because, well, I broke the cap when I first got it. Yeah. Tell me about it. I think it's a eight shot uh, thing. I have to drop them in from, I drop them in from the top and then push them down. Uh, let me show you how it would look. If I can fucking get one in there. Oh, there, I got two. A little bit like that. Let's focus that nonsense. There you go. Like that. For me, I push them down at to put more pressure. Mm, here we go. That's how we'll look at the end. Oh, no. Here's your back view. It's fucking nasty. Okay, but anyways. Let's get back to how you would load it. We're back up on the top of the thing. So you, the way you would load it, you have to put it on this little hook thingy. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'll show it right now. Uh, you put it on the hook thingy. The catch thing. Not this way, because, you know, you going to be looking fucking stupid. Turn around this way. There you go. Take a rush through that with your friends. I'm just kidding. Don't fucking do that. I mean, that's stupid. Stupid thing. Yeah. I forgot to point out also, uh, it's a rifle bear rifled barrel. Here we go. Let's see if I can see it. Oh, fuck. It's bright. There you go. Some James Bond. Da -da 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 da -da -da Okay. Anyways, oh, scratch my head. Nasty out here. Okay, right, so let's load it. Still learning how to use this. And then you would just force it close, and it's ready to fire. Easy as that. Okay. Scratch my head, and let's get ready to rumble. Oh, well, look at that. I need to go fix the target. Okay, 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 okay. Went back up there, put some tape. All right, let's do this. So, yeah. I'm going to try a new camera angle. It's probably going to look fucking shaky as shit, but we're going to do it. All right, so I'm going to come up front. Let's hope it turns out right. If not, well. All right. Try not to show my face. I mean, if you haven't already known... Yeah, my you've probably seen the profile picture. That is that's that's me with my black dog. But let's try to keep it ident identities free. Anyways, so shooting the what is it? Oh, CS three fifty seven airsoft, not airsoft, BB slash pellet gun, because it can take pellets, but we'll shoot pellets at a later date. So on, it's uh safety off. See, there you go. Uh, everything's clear. Let's do this. There you go. Oh, it's about 10 yards from here. Point out the I saw that drift so much to the left. Why? There you go. Okay. 
Tippy on. Oh, fuck. Get a nice ball shot of me. Okay, let's do this. Wow, compared to all the other fucking airsoft or air guns I have, this is actually the most accurate I ever shot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Jesus. There's more in the black than, than actually out of the fucking circle. I'm actually pretty happy. Wow, I'm actually impressed with myself. That wasn't that hard to shoot. Um, I'll show you another neat way or neat thing we can do with it. We can probably do it with other airsoft or no live guns, but this is air. I keep saying airsoft. It's, it's nowhere near soft. It's fucking painful. I'll show you another neat trick you can do with this air gun right now. Oh, dude, I lost my train of thought. I have to pause the video, the recording actually, for the longest. Theo came tap or my uncle. Those of you who don't know Spanish, Theo's uncle. Theo came, he's talked to me about like money and all that life. I'm like, I had to listen to him. He's my uncle, of course, godfather. Uh, I listened to him. I heard him out. And want to talk to me later? Maybe we'll get a video on that. Probably not. Most likely not. It was out here so long. It got hotter. Lord almighty. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. I, I want to show you all something. Check it out. I could do this. I think it's you can cock the hammer back, right, and just, it's on safety, but look, which is why that's there. And I just, once it hits that, see that, yeah, it, it's specific. Boy, a 10 minute talk, you went to get tacos, every Mexican needs their tacos, come on. Y'all gotta know this. Alright, well anyways, let's get to shooting. I hope this camera angle works well. I'm gonna shoot three like four like this and the rest I'll get behind the camera. But oh I wonder if I can do this. I never tried this. I actually wanna try it just like that. Let's try it. I'm actually right-handed. She always do it your dominant. I'll shoot at the floor. Ready? You can't do that. Anyways, that's oh yeah, I don't know. I'll shoot it down at the floor so you can see. Pew! Sounded so weak, why? Right, well, what was that? Ready? Let's do this. Let's get out of the way. Oh no, it's running out. No. Damn it. Fuck. Oh look, I can just throw it in there. I didn't expect it to run out. I throw it in there, how to change the CO2 on a revolver. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get the technical pinky. I'm gonna call it pinky now. Just take off the, uh, the grip. Oh, and by the way, the only plastics on here, or the only plastic is these things, and just this. Put it on safety, I'm gonna blow my fucking eyeball out. And screw this hoe. I remember when I first, uh, my first BB gun was actually that p other pistol. First got it, my god. I didn't know how to use it the way I was shooting it right now. I was dying out, I was like, oh yeah, look. As it was dying out, I was like, oh, that's how it shoots, then. It fell out, I'm like, ah, I was freaking the fuck out. Anyways, let's uh, screw this shit in. Okay, ready? Screw it in. Puncture it. Actually, let's close the knife. I don't actually use it. This. Where's pl I need pliers? In fact, give me a sec. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna tighten it actually. At least to the point where I can't do it no more. With by hand, which is right now. Just do it like this. No. Uh, Uncle can't hurt my feelings, but you know. Let him. It was an old era. You gotta learn. Don't know how everything's how it used to be. He, he told me 20 bucks was a lot. I'm like, god damn, you're old. Anyways, this is the right grip. It says right there. It says R. No, that's like a P. And just snap it on. Fucking go. And snap. There we go. 
and that's it for the loading actually of a new co2 yeah so overall here to the, well you said tools but okay anyways i'll show you how to load it too uh, obviously we do that oh there's still one shot in there could have blown my fucking eyeball out okay, anyways we're gonna retry that last shot, actually. So, uh, the last target practice. I'm gonna finish to wrap. I'm gonna wrap this video up in a bit because my uncle's gonna come back after he gets tacos. I kind of don't want to talk to him. I'm gonna be very busy today. In fact, I need to be doing something right now, and I'm not doing it. I'm actually out here having fun because people need fun in their fucking lives, even on their days off. That's how I fucking load him in. Oh, uh, they're pushed in so they don't fall out. But anyways, it's uh. There we go. Safety off. I gotta get to it. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot from back here. None of those fucking things pierced last one because I saw them bouncing, which sucked. There you go. Do it like that. Ooh, I'm from Texas. Mmm. Okay. Actually, I'm going to be stupid. Every fucking... It's not a toy. It tells you right there. Not a fucking toy. I'm stupid, so. Right. And then... Bing bong, bing bong. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That <laughs> scared the shot out of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Do one shot like this. Where's <laughs> the cats? Oh, hey, he's running away. He got scared. Okay, do the rest like this. Okay. Oh my god, it gets harder to pull him to do that. I feel like it's hitting something in the very back. Okay, that was it. I usually do an extra shot right after. Even though you hear the sound, I do it, always do it after an extra shot. Just so I can make sure. Never too fucking sure. Okay, let's get to the target. Oh man, that first shot was funny. It was being a cowboy. Okay, I was worse on this one. I'm not sure that's the same or not. You can just rewind the video on that. There you go. That was the CS357. Hi, kitty. Run, run, run. Well, never mind. CS357. And one more test, actually. We're still on the adventure of breaking through this f marvelous piece of work, the LG Stylo. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> shit. Alright, before I do this, I want to get the fucking goggles. No, fuck, the goggles are in my... Goggles, the fucking glasses are in my... Ants. Fucking... Truck. Damn it. Okay, okay, hold on. Just fucking ghetto rig. Why not? Y'all can see it, I can't. One more. Oh, wait, it's not even loaded. I'm stupid. I, I loaded it. That was pretty quick. Quicker than I load the other ones. Okay. It's probably gonna fucking hurt if it fucking ricochets, dude. I'm not gonna even lie. <laughs> that was so scary. I'm not even sure where I hit it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna aim for right here. See where I'm pointing? Right there. Okay, here we go. Get out the way, actually. What if it fucking nicked my dick? Oh, the ricochet. One more shot. That ricochet was very bad. Whew. Fuck you. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> God dang. <laughs> Bug in my pinky. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Anyways, <laughs> oh, one more shot. I need to show you the soap test. That's always gonna be being essential. Okay, that I know so it won't go through the soap. Okay. Fuck. There you go. There we go. Oh my god. I mean, fucking a bullet will kill you. The soap was all wet from earlier. Look at that. That's the top one right there. Well, get out of here. I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. I for sure love the fucking, <laughs> I love this Magnum. I, I actually do, so this is, oh. That was it, that's, that's empty, that's great. I'm not gonna replace that gun. I am gonna use this a lot more. Oh yeah, I love this thing. This sounds funny, home defense. I mean, you never wanna defend your home with a fucking pellet gun and or BB gun. It'll hurt, but it won't kill. Anyways, uh, I want to end this video on a good note. I love the CS 350. Yeah, CR. Oh, I've been saying CS. Fucking, I feel stupid. CR 357. It says it right there. I love this gun. It's uh, $46 or 56 I don't know. It wasn't a lot, actually. It was a very cheap, cheap uh, buy. And for the way it feels, it feels very expensive. Other, this is plastic and that needs to handle covers of plastic. Other than that, if you're actually looking for a real, like... It feels great, heavy made, homemade, or not homemade, a heavy metal gun, that's the gun for you. Realistic, if you're actually looking for a realistic feel, don't ever go out in public to public parks and be an idiot. Unless you got written consent, and don't ever point out an officer. You're dumb. If you do that. You live, you don't tell me the story, tell me about it. But anyways, uh, let's get this. You can buy this at your Walmart, sports stores, anywhere. I bought mine at Walmart because I ain't going fucking bud fuck Egypt for a uh, that shit. I just get it off of Amazon from that fucking lazy. Let's get this motherfucker. Oh yeah, remember how I said in the beginning of the video ricocheted yesterday and hit my thumb? That's what I shot. I'm an idiot for shooting it, I know, but I mean, I felt ballsy. I felt like I had balls at the time, but I didn't. Actually, I did, but you know, shit hurt. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Go get yourself a 357 Airsoft. I would recommend if you're going to have a lot of fun with Airsoft, or Airsoft, uh, CO2 power, not Airsoft. If you're going to have a lot of fun with that, I would recommend you get the case. I have a 15 case canister, 15 canister of uh, CO2. Look, I'm already on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I, I used up 5 already. I think it's well worth it for me. I don't care. I got a great job. Uncle's telling me different, but I don't care. It's the puppy. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. He pretty. But anyways, um. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, share it. Get, get the word around. I mean, I'm not. I'm going to be real with y'all. I do want to get into YouTube funding partnership and all that. But with that partnership money uh, that I would be earning, I would actually use it towards pellet rifles. Just to, uh, for amusement, pellet rifles, pellet guns, BB rifles and BB guns. Um, just because why not? I think that would be great. I think that would be a great thing to do. Oh, what the fuck was that? I think that would be a great thing to do. Um, yeah, I keep saying, hope y'all enjoyed, but you know, I got to get it out there. Maybe we'll, we'll start fun or I don't know. But thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. And uh, help your boy out. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I, did, I am in the ghetto. I can't believe I just said that kind of shit. But, you know, it gets to you. Anyways, uh, well, have a great day and uh, talk to y'all later.